I'm Joanna. And I'm James. And today we're going to show you quick step, mm. which is quite challenging to fit in a really small space, so we'll squash it in a little mm. bit more. Squash the quick step. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to show you as clearly as possible what the steps are. So to start with, we're going to show you the basic step, or what we call the basic step. That's the eight step, which consists of the quarter turn to the right and progressive chasse. You don't have to know that. That's a Just bit of a mouthful, <laughs> isn't it? We'll call it the basic. <laughs> Let's call it the basic, and it's eight steps. So uh, so see better, we're going to show leader steps first and then follow the steps because otherwise we we'll just keep turning around and around. Am I going first? You're going first. Great. So leaders, you're going to start right foot forward and then left foot to the side, chasse, side, close, side. And while you're doing that, you're turning a quarter to the right. And now you dance right foot backwards and then the left foot to the side, turning quarter left, side, close, side. Very good. Let's start again, James. Mm. I'll stand over here. So, right foot forward leaders and forward, side, close, side, and backward, side, close, side. Now you had a better view, didn't you? Okay, let's do that again. So start right foot forward, step, side, close, side, right foot back, step, side, close, side. Very good, James, well done. I've been practicing. <laughs> right, now for the followers step, I show it from this direction so you can all see. So follow us, you're going to start left foot backward, step, and then the right foot to the side, quarter turn, side, close, side. You don't have to worry about the quarter turns, leaders will do that for you. And then you start left foot forward for the next part, and then side, close, side, and rotate quarter to the left. And that's all there is to it, eight steps. Show you that again. So you go left foot backward, step, Side, close, side, left foot forward, side, close, side, sorry. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay, so left foot back and step, side, close, side, left foot forward, side, close, side. Right, and now I'll show you that together. So we show it from this side. We're going to take our normal ballroom hold, so we're nice and close together. Leaders, you won't be able to see from here, but don't worry, we're still here and you know your stuff anyway. So leaders, you're going to start right foot forward and you're going to go between your partner's feet. Follow as you go left foot back and step, then together, side, close, side. Now leaders backwards, follow us, follow your partner's foot, step, and then side, close, side. Now whatever you're going to follow with, Next, leaders, you're going to dance outside partner step. So for the next forward step, for you on the right foot, follow us left foot back, leaders, you're going to go outside partner. So on the outside of your partner's right leg. Okay, if we show it this way around, you're not going to go between her feet, you're going to go outside, over there. Okay, and ask to follow with any move uh, after the basic. Right, let's do that again. Good. Very good. So eight step of the basic, and we do that outside partner step at the end as well. Ready, and step, side, close, side, step, side, close, side. And then to start anything else, lead as you go out, say partner. Good, let's go from the other side. Lead us right foot forward, follow us left foot back, and step, side, close, side, step, Side, close, side, outside, partner. Very good, one more time. Let's go this end. Ready, and step. Side, close, side, step. Side, close, side, outside. One more time from the other side. Ready, and step. Side, close, side, step. Side, close, side, outside. Very good. So you can keep practicing that one. If you have a little bit more space, you can just curve it all around the room, a little bit like we showed you in a social foxtrot um, dance, but um, we're actually going to show you how to turn the corner mm, too. Turn the corner. So we're gonna teach you a step called a natural spin turn. 
and natural spins are the key to get it going is to make sure we work it really well together. So first we need to learn the steps and then there's information where how we lock the things together to make the bodies work really well and then he just whizzes round. It's a great figure to put in your corner. So we're going to imagine that we're dancing up to our corner and we finished our basic step here, side, close, side. Okay, we're ready to dance. Leaders right foot forwards, followers left foot back. We're going to dance three steps, turning more strongly to the right than our basic. Step, side and close. So that's leaders right foot going forward, followers left foot back, step, side and close. Now, Joanna and I are apart at the moment, so you can see the steps a little bit more clearly. Normally, obviously, we will be together here, but we're going to show it separately. Now, from here, we've got three little steps. I'm going to show the follower steps first. Let's have a look at those. Would you mind showing us first, Joanna, so we can see okay. what's coming? We're going to dance right foot forward. One, two, brush, three. Okay, so there are the three steps. Now, let's break them down. We'll show you what to dance. So from when you had your feet together, followers, make sure first you're stood on your left leg. You're going to use your left leg to help you take a nice strong step forward onto the right foot. As you arrive over the heel and then the ball of this right foot, you're going to pivot on that foot. So you're going to make a turn like that. Now notice here the crafty Joanna has kept her left foot held behind the line of the right foot. Okay, so that's a pivoting step we've got there. We're then going to take pressure onto the ball of the left foot, take your weight onto it, collect your feet together, we get a nice brushing action, but keep the right foot free, and then we dance a little forward step onto the ball of the foot to finish it. So you've got three steps, an awful lot of information though, to make sure you get the rotation going well. So it started, strong step from the left leg onto the right leg, and then you pivot. So we've got one. Oh, that was a good strong step, wasn't it? And then we've got two brush three, which are lighter actions, lots of pressure, push, connect the feet together, two, brush, three. So the brushing action is when you collect your right foot to your left foot, or the right leg by the left leg there, and then if the right foot is still free, you can use it to take a little step forward. It's just almost like a hanging, we call it a hanging leg. So imagine the leg is very loose, you let it hang underneath you, and then as your body weight comes forward, you arrive on the ball of your right foot. Nice soft landing at the end. So let's see those three steps again. Turn right foot forward, we've got strong step. One, pivot, two, brush, three. So we're only really dancing three steps, right, left, right, but there's a bit more technical information that goes in there to make it work. Followers, you can practice that later this time. So leaders, we've got a tricky little action here as well. We've got three steps. I'll show you them first so you know what's coming. We're going to dance left foot one, right foot two, left foot three. So we'll have finished facing the same direction that we started originally, imagining our corner is there, okay? Right, what was that? So at the moment, we've got the feet together, we've changed weight, we're stood on our right foot, we've got the left foot free. We're going to start turning when we're still on our right leg. So that'll make us feel a little bit, as you take the left leg back, that the leg is almost turning in a little bit there, or the toe is turned in a little bit of the left foot. We're going to take our weight onto that left foot, and then we're going to make a swiveling action on that left foot, keeping the right foot held in front. So what you don't want to do, don't look at this one, Joanna, we don't want to do left foot back and then a big wide right leg going over there. So that oh, won't good. work, okay? You can look, you can look at it now, I'll do my best. We're taking that left foot back, turning from the right leg, so the turn is happening quite early, onto the left leg, there, and you've still got your right foot held in front. If you get that step working really well, this one then becomes a forward step. So we're unusually dancing onto a heel here. So heel riding onto the ball of the foot, keep turning, and then a backward step onto the ball of the left foot, from the right foot to the left foot. And then we finish our spin turn. Okay, we will show you those steps again in the same orientation for a minute. So we were taking our left foot back, but remember, we're on the right leg, and we've got to activate it. Start feeling that you're going to turn a little bit on that leg. So we're turning, left foot turning in, swivel on the foot, forward step on the right foot, nice and strong. Keep turning a little bit more, backward onto the left foot, and we're done. Now I'm going to show that in the opposite direction. So if I stood facing this way, imagine the corner was just behind me now, 
exactly the same. I'm going to take the left foot back, take the right shoulder back, turn on the ball of that left foot, forward onto the right foot, onto the heel, get your weight over the ball of the foot, and then we're rising and we're turning, so we finish facing the corner, just take our weight backwards, nice gentle step backwards onto the left foot. I'll show that way one more time. Turning the foot in, left foot, turn forward, right foot, turn backward, left foot. And then I've got my right foot free. Okay? So to fit it together, oh, the really exciting part, we'll go back to our original orientation. We're going to stand nice and close together like this. This is where we actually survive the first three steps of our natural turn. And then we're going to make sure followers, when you take your right foot forward, it goes between the leader's feet. So there's step one, okay? Now, I know you can't see it very well from where you are, but the inside of our right legs is together. So there's an overlap in your legs. This was the warning place where we said, leaders, don't take your right foot out over to the side, keep it overlapping. So now your right foot goes forward between the followers' feet. As you keep turning, followers, you do your left foot and brush, left, brush and then we just take a nice gentle step to finish it off together did it go well it did I hope so we'll show you that in the opposite direction as well so okay. facing from this way had our three spinning steps so followers right foot between the feet leaders left foot back turning from the right leg one now we're still between the feet leaders it's forward heel lead rising onto the ball of the foot followers extend backwards and then a brush two brush three all being well you're still on the correct side of each other make sure you're still looking over each other's right shoulder you're looking to the left if you've ended up here then we haven't adjusted our steps really well or fitted it together so just make sure you're always on that correct side with each other from this position you're ready to dance um, the last half of our basic step where the followers were doing left foot forward the leaders were doing right foot back. We could dance step and then side, close side, if we had room. Okay, quick step is an enormous dance. We need a big space for it, but this is fine just to work on a few bits. So we better rewind. We had three steps in front of there. So if we imagine we finished our basic, we've got the feet apart, we're stood in that position. Leaders, you had the right foot free, ready to step forward. Followers, the left foot free, ready to go back. We had step, side and close for slow, quick, quick. Changing weight, now follow us, it's right foot between the feet, leader's left foot back turning, one, two, brush, three, and then the last half of our basic, leader's right foot back, follow us left foot forward, step, and side, close, side, if you can fit it. Make it fit, whatever it is, make it tiny and you can make it fit. We show you that in the opposite direction again. So we finished our basic feet apart, Leaders, you've got right foot going forward, outside partner now. Followers, left foot back. We've got turn, side and close. Three spinning steps. One, two, brush, three. And then you're ready to go into your basic step and side, close, side. There How it is. How did you get on? Hope you got on all right. So I think key things there are making sure that you stay on each other's right side front in your body position. Like we suggested, keep looking slightly left all the time. Don't feel that you cross your centres and you're looking over to the wrong side of each other. These things all make it fit really well together, but the number one thing is make sure you're clear on your foot pattern. Now, with the rhythm and timing, there's a slight change in feels of the rhythm and timing from what we called our basic, the eight steps when we started. So if we try and show that together, it'll be very squashy quick step. Probably like that sometimes, we can do squashy quick step, can't we? We dance our eight steps of the basic, and the timing is slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. When we dance into our spin turn, we've got slow, quick, quick for the natural turn. Three slows make up the spin turn three steps itself. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. And then we're ready to go back to our normal rhythm, slow, quick, quick, slow of our basic. Slow quick, quick, slow. We've just about fitted it in here. Now, that should take us around a corner and you then be able to carry on um, down the new side of your ballrooms. And if, if you've got space a little bit like this or if you've got less space, we can turn it a little bit less and we can actually bend it round or rather a bit more and we can end up coming back where we came from. 
So just to be naughty and for a bit of practice, we're going to change our alignment. And we're going to make it go consecutively and we finish one spin turn and go back to our basic and we can do another one. I'll show you how that fits. Let's try it from over here. So we start with the basic step first. We've got slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Then we're turning slow, quick, quick, naughty angles. We're ending going back where we came from, quick, slow. Then we can start the basic again. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Then we're into the spin turn this way. Slow, quick, quick, spin, 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 slow, quick, quick, slow. We just fitted it in. That was very squashy. Normally we would need probably about 30 meters to dance that. <laughs> so we're fitting it in. At least you can see how the steps are working there. So I think we'll have a go with the music, shall we? Would you like to? I think we should. Let's do. Yeah, so how are we going to do this with the music? Should we try and see if we can do a few consecutive ones? <sighs> Let's see how we get on. Right, we'll give it a try. So we're going to stand over here. We're going to take our nice ballroom holds ready to go. We'll get some music on. I'll count you in after four. Do a bit of introduction. One, two, three, four, start. Quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, basic, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, spin, 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 slow, quick, quick, slow, basic, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, turn, quick, quick, spin, 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 slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So there we go everybody, our slightly squashy quick step, but it should give you some good pointers to get your basic going, a few reminders perhaps, and also for that natural spin turn in the corners. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, happy practicing at your homes, at your leisure. Always uh, come back to the video or just rewind it and um, review the section that you're more interested in and just um, keep going. Thank you very much everybody. If you really enjoyed the video, then give us a thumbs up below. We'll keep putting some more up for you and hope to see you all very soon. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.